In this example, we are going to be explaining the navigation page or start here page and explain why it's important, when to use it, and then walk through making one. So with that, we'll get started. Right here, we have a sample navigation page using the package diagram as our diagram to start with. You can use several different diagrams to create your navigation page. So as you see right there, we are using the package diagram. You can also use the SysML BDD or block definition diagram, or you can scroll down here to other diagrams and use the content diagram or potentially the freeform diagram. I'm gonna use the content diagram for this example. So what you can do is you can just go to diagrams and pull random di or pull specific diagrams that you care about that you want to view in in your start here or in your navigation page like so. Uh, you can add text boxes like this, sample text box, and then you can go to properties and add like colors to it. And additionally, you can put it into a list view like this. So all these create hyperlinks. And then you've got some other symbol properties that like you can change the background of the entire thing. You can add the grid. So there's a lot of different custom customizations that you can do to make this diagram or this uh, navigation page look better. Uh, you, can, you can also remove the uh, diagram frame if you would like. Um, so there's lots of options there. But once you've made your, your navigation page, you probably want to hyperlink it or link it to a known location. So we've got a, another diagram or another video explaining how to link to the favorites bar or potentially hyperlink to one of your other elements, such as this example, the click examples, where if I double click, it jumps me to the navigation page. So we recommend having at least one navigation page per model because as you hand off models from modeler to modeler, it is very critical that they are able to pick up your model and use it and navigate around it with ease. Otherwise, they won't know all of the different aspects of your model, number one, or they may not even use your model. So usability is a key aspect that is often overlooked while modeling. And I think the navigation page is an important aspect which every model needs to have. Hope this helps.